we're here again. So now we're gonna work on some writing. We've been learning about seahorses this week, and today is actually going to be the last day that we really talk about seahorses because we're gonna move on to the next ocean animal. So tomorrow, I'm gonna introduce a new ocean animal that we're gonna learn about. But for today, we are still talking about seahorses. Well, I'm gonna talk about seahorses, and you're gonna get to choose if you wanna talk about a seahorse or another animal. So we're gonna work on a narrative writing and we're going to write about a time that we saw an animal. I would hope you could write about a time that maybe you saw an ocean animal, maybe at an aquarium or at the beach or at the zoo, but if you've never been to any of those places or you've never seen an animal there, that's okay. Maybe you've been to a pet store and you've seen an animal there. So start thinking about a time where you saw an animal. And since we're talking about seahorses and I got to tell you that my favorite kind of seahorse is the leafy sea dragon, which I'm gonna find his picture for us. Where is it? Oh, here he is. Since I love the leafy sea dragon, I'm gonna write about see, the time that I saw the leafy sea dragon at the California Academy of Sciences. So that's gonna be the topic of my narrative today, okay? I'm gonna tell you a story about something that I did. So. Let's review what elements we might need for our story, okay? So we need to talk about a character, which I'll be the character, uh, and then we'll talk about the place. I decided on the California Academy of Sciences, and then we're gonna talk about the beginning, the middle, and the end. So I'm gonna think about what I did first on my visit, what I did in the middle of my visit, and what I did at the end of my visit. So before I get started, I'm gonna map it out. I'm gonna use a graphic organizer to organize my thoughts and organize the events in the order that they happened. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. It's time to map out our thoughts and our events. So in the middle of my paper, I'm gonna draw a circle. And inside, I'm gonna draw myself at the Academy of Sciences, because I know that's where I want my story to take place. And I'm the character in the story. I'm talking about myself telling a story. And I'm gonna draw me going into the Academy of Sciences. All right, Cal Academy. Okay, and here's the doors, the sidewalk. Okay, so here I am going into the Academy of Sciences, and I'm gonna map out my events. So the first thing I did when I went to the Academy of Sciences was I went into the indoor rainforest and saw butterflies. So I'm gonna draw butterflies here, flying around. Okay. So here's a couple butterflies. This is just gonna remind me later that I wanna add this to my story. I wanna write a sentence about it. And this is me being so surprised that there are butterflies inside this museum. So I saw the butterflies in the Academy of Sciences. The second event of the day was going down into the aquarium to see the leafy sea dragon. Here's the big tank that they're in. And they have the long, long snout. So here's a quick one. And they're kind of interesting looking because they look like a leaf. Okay. And then here's me. So happy looking at the seahorse, the leafy sea dragon seahorse, okay? And I can add more to my picture once I draw it uh, for my story. The last thing we did before I left, or the last thing I did before I left the Academy of Sciences was go and visit Claude, the albino alligator. So he's a white alligator, it's albino. And this is my best albino alligator that I can do right now. It's his eye. Here's his leg. Here's another leg. Here's another leg. 
And here's another leg, okay? And then this is me safely up high, looking down at him, smiling. And there's sort of a barrier so people can't get over. So that's what I'm drawing here. Okay, so now I've mapped out my story a little bit. I know who is in the story and where it's taking place. So the character and the setting. And I have a first, next, and last event. So three events in my story. Now we're going to start putting our story together. So you'll need paper and a pencil to write your own story and maybe crayons for when you start coloring. So let's start writing. Okay, so I have my paper here ready to go. And when I do this for you, I like to use one fresh piece of paper for each sentence or each element of the story. You don't have to do that. You can write your whole story on one piece of paper if it's easier for you. But the reason I'm showing you this way is because you can actually staple it together to make it look like your own little book and share it with a family member. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna look at my graphic organizer and I'm gonna write a sentence about where the story's taking place and who's in the story. I'm gonna introduce my character and the setting. I, finger space, and to the, oops, I'm out of space, so return sweet. Now I might have to sound this out. Al, I, or, e, a. I tried my best with my estimated spelling. I went to the California, finger spaces, Academy, a, k, a, d, a, m, e, of sciences. I, e, a, n, n, s, is sciences, period. Okay, and then up at the top, I would draw a picture that matches my writing, okay? So make sure you take time on your illustration to draw a nice picture to show whatever it is you said was happening, okay? So here's me, uh-oh, I look like I'm walking in the air. Okay, and add as much detail to your picture as you can and I wanna remind you of something. I capitalized California Academy of Sciences because it's the name of a place. It's called a proper noun. So we want to, it's a name, just like your name is important. The name of the place is important. So we give a capital letter to each word in the name, the beginning letter, okay? So this is the first page in our story. Let's move on to the second page. I wrote my introductory sentence that included the character in the setting. Remember I wrote, I went to the California Academy of Sciences. So now we're gonna add the details to our story. But I wanna remind you, we need to use our transition words. So first, next, and last. Those are the three transition words I want you to work on using, okay? Because remember, a story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So I'm gonna go in that order. Let me draw my line. So I save space at the top for a picture. And my sentence is gonna start with the word first. So I'm gonna write that word with a capital F or an uppercase F. And I'm looking over here for the spelling. I see it on my chart. First, then I put a comma because I'm going to pause just for a second. First, I went, oh wait, I saw, let me think of how I want to say it. Oh, let me look at my graphic organizer. That's right. I saw the butterflies. First, I saw The, oh, I know I probably can't fit butterflies there, so I have to do a return sweep and write it here. B, uh, t, 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 
butts or, or full eyes. First, I saw the butterflies. Now, if I want to add more detail, I can say where I saw the butterflies. But if that's a little too difficult for you, you don't have to do that. But if you want to challenge yourself, add that detail. First, I saw the butterflies in the rainforest. Er, a, mm, or, est. Okay? So when I add that little extra detail, it sort of paints a picture for my reader so they can close their eyes and imagine what it might look like to see butterflies in a rainforest. Let's read what I wrote. First, I saw the butterflies in the rainforest. So up here, my picture should match my writing. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick sketch for you. Okay, my butterfly smiling and flying. And in the rainforest, I remember that there's so many things to look at with plants and you're on this really cool platform that kind of winds around to the next level and there's butterflies and birds flying everywhere. So I'm trying to remember what it looks like in there so that I can add that to my picture, okay? So later I'll go back and I'll add more to this drawing and I'll color it too. So let's move on to the next part of our story. Okay, so I did my introduction sentence. I wrote what happened first. Now I'm gonna look at my graphic organizer to try to remember what we did next. Oh, that's right. Next is when I got to look at the leafy sea dragon. So I'm gonna write that out as a sentence and I'm gonna use that transition word next. So next, and then I put a little comma because I'm pausing just for a second. Next, I looked, 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 looked at, at. Ooh, I think I could maybe fit the there, but I'm just gonna come down here at the leafy oh, e, e, c, c, dragon. D, d, r, a, g, e, n. Now that could be the end of my sentence, but I'm really working on adding more information and detail to my story. But if I was done, I could put a period here, but I don't want people to think that I looked at a leafy sea dragon in the rainforest. I wanna tell them where I was when I saw it. So I'm gonna put that I saw the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. I looked at the leafy sea dragon in the Aquarium. Ooh, it's a tough one. A uh, e a uh, mm. aquarium. Don't forget your period at the end. That means you're all done talking. So now let me read my sentence. Next, I looked at the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. Okay. And just as always, remember, your picture should be very colorful and should match your writing, okay? So make sure that you're following along and you're drawing what it is that you wrote about. So here's my leafy sea dragon, okay? And he's so long and interesting shaped because he looks like a leaf. He's got, he looks like a branch of leaves, okay? And then I'll take some time and add more to my picture later, but let's move on to writing the last part of our story. Okay, now we're on to the last part of our story. So I'm gonna check my graphic organizer because I can't remember what I did last. Oh, I see the picture. It's when I looked and saw 
Claude, the albino alligator. So I'm gonna write that in a sentence. And since we're on the last part of my story, I'm gonna write that word first, last. I'm going to write the transition word, last. Okay, with a capital L because I'm starting a sentence. Don't forget your comma because you're pausing. So you write your transition words and then you write a comma because you're pausing. Last, I saw, don't forget your finger spaces, Claude, and I know Claude is his name, and he's a very important alligator with a very important name, so he gets an uppercase or a capital C. Claude. I don't know if that's the right spelling, but I tried my best. Last I saw Claude, the Al ah, ah, oh. I no albino alligator ah, ah, ol, al uh, g, a, t, er. okay and i'm going to put a period here so remember when you're using your estimated spelling you might hear different sounds than what i hear and that's okay you're trying to go step by step with those sounds to see what you think it should be spelled like. And albino means white. He is a white alligator. That's what makes him so rare. He's not a green color like other alligators. So that's why I put in that extra detail that he's an albino alligator. Let's read our sentence. Last, I saw Claude, the albino alligator. So now I'm gonna draw myself up here because in the Academy of Sciences, you're up looking over sort of a pool area where Claude is. He has this big rock and he's always laying on it. Every time I go, he's laying on this rock. And it looks so funny because he kind of looks like this. He sprawls out. He has his feet laid out and his legs, his long tail. And he has his, oh, it's supposed to be his eyes and his nose. Okay, so here's me looking down. All right, and I can add more detail later, like the water, and I know there's some turtles in there, but I think that looks good for now. So now we're gonna put all our pages together and read through our story because we have to reread our writing just like good writers do. Okay, now it's time to take a look at all our hard work. So you started with your graphic organizer, where you put your ideas down on paper and organized your ideas. And then you wrote quite a few pages. You should be so proud of yourself. So also one thing I was gonna tell you, when you write on multiple pages or more than one pages, you can even put the page number on the bottom, just like we see in books. You can write P for page with a little dot and then the number one. So this is page one. Let's read what we wrote. I went to the California Academy of Sciences. All right, time to turn the page. First, I saw the butterflies in the rainforest. Oop, that's page two. Let me write the P for page, the dot, and the number two. And this is a good time to double check for your capital letter at the beginning or your uppercase letter at the beginning. All of your finger spaces, sorry, not right there. All of your finger spaces and a period at the end. And now you should also try not to write, if you don't fit something here, you don't wanna write it down the side of the paper. You just wanna move down to the next line. Let's check out the next page. Ooh, this is page three. So I'm gonna write the P, the number three, and let's read it. Next, I looked at the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. Here we go. Now we're on the final page. Let's turn the page. And this is page number 
four. That's right. Four comes after three. Let's read it. Last, I saw Claude the albino alligator. I think that sounds like a great visit to the California Academy of Sciences. Now there's one last thing I want you to do. I like to save this for last because it's so fun to take your time on it. You can make a title page. Come up with the name of your story. I'm going to title it, My Trip to the, oh, I'm going to write Cal Academy, because sometimes that's what they call it, Cal Academy of Sciences. What a long title. I guess I could have written the time I saw the leafy sea dragon or the time I saw some animals. I guess I could have come up with a shorter title, title, but this is my very long title. Now, I'm also gonna draw a really fun picture. It can be similar to what I saw on the first page or what I drew, but this is my chance to make a really nice, attractive, fun to look at title page or cover to your story. But don't forget to write by with a colon and your name. So I'm gonna write by Mrs. Phillips because I am the author and the illustrator of my story, okay? So have fun writing your story. You don't have to do this all in one day. I know it's a lot of writing and a lot of work, but you can start by just drafting up your graphic organizer and then tomorrow you can write one or two sentences on the first or the second page. You can break it up so it's not too much work for you. All right, check in with me tomorrow when I introduce the new ocean animal. Bye.